in this video i am going to discuss techniques of differentiation of some basic algebraic functions using some basic formula so first let us try to understand those formula formula 1 is the power rule by using this formula you can differentiate any power of x for example x derivative of x to the power n equal n x to the power n minus 1 for example derivative of x to the power 5 will be 5 x to the power 5 minus 1 which is 5 x to the power 4 and derivative of let's say root x which is equal derivative of x to the power half and here power half so half will you need to write first then half minus 1 which is equal half 1 by x to the power negative half which is equal 1 by 2 root x now let's say i want to differentiate x root x derivative of x root x so how can i do that i need to here first uh, do some simplification x to the power 1 plus half x to the power 1 because this x has power 1 and this x has power half so this equal derivative of x to the power 3 by 2 3 by 2 now i can apply this formula this equal 3 by 2 x to the power 3 by 2 minus 1 which is equal 3 by 2 x to the power 1 half 1 half which is equal 3 by 2 root x so the derivative of x root x is the 3 by 2 root x formula 2 derivative of any constant equal to 0 why because in the case of constant function the change in x uh, is can be changed x can be uh, let uh, let's say x can change but y cannot change it is 5 by 5 so the slope or dy dx is equal we know rise by run rise by run and here rise means 5 by 5 so the numerator will be 0 and denominator will be b by a which is equal to 0 so derivative of any constant function will be 0 derivative of 9 0 derivative of 7 0 formula 3 derivative of k x to the power n so if you have a constant times x to the power n then this constant will just stay here and it will not affect your result you see k x to the power n we know derivative of x to the power n equal n x to the power n minus 1 for example derivative of 10 x to the power 5 will be 10 times 5 x to the power 4 which is 50 x to the power 4 another example let's say derivative of 9 x to the power 5 this will be 9 times x derivative of x to the power 5 we know 5 x to the power 4 which is 45 x to the power 4 formula 4 if you have two functions either in addition form or subtraction form then you can differentiate separately for example derivative of 5 x to the power 4 plus 3 x square minus 2 x plus 7 so you, you can differentiate them separately you see now derivative of 5x to the power 4 equal 20x cube derivative of 3x square equal 3 into 2 6x and derivative of 2x equal to 2 derivative of 7 equal to 0 why derivative of 2x equal to 2 you see derivative of x equal to 1 so derivative of 2x will be 2 into 1 which is 2 derivative of 5x will be 5 derivative of 7x will be 7 so this is the answer
and most importantly you need to understand this formula if you want to differentiate power of a function power of a function like we know derivative of x to the power n equal n x to the power uh, x to the power n minus 1 now how can we differentiate any power power of a function we can differentiate power of x but how can we differentiate power of a function the first step is exactly same n fx power will be decreased by 1 and fx to the power n minus 1 but in the second step you need to differentiate again fx with respect to x and put it in product form so that's it for example let us try to differentiate 2x plus 2x square plus 3x plus 5 whole to the power 7 so in this case the in the first step the 7 will be will come here then 2x square plus 3x plus 5 whole to the power 6 into derivative of 2x square plus 3x plus 5 you see your power you, your power will decrease by 1 here so 7 minus 1 which is 6 and again you need to differentiate your function and put it in product form so this equals 7 to x square plus 3x plus 5 all to the power 6 into derivative of 2x square which is 4x plus derivative of 3x is 3 and derivative of 5 equal to 0 so this is your answer so I think formula 5 is clear to all of you now formula 6 is the product rule this is very very important because by using this formula we can differentiate product of two function and the formula let me write it here again derivative of u times v when u is a function of x and v also function of x then we can differentiate product of two functions by using this formula first you need to uh, keep u in the left side you don't need to do any work with u just work with v derivative of v plus do the opposite one v k uh, by the u k derivative karo, derivative of u so the product rule is u derivative of v plus the sign will be plus v derivative of u for example let's say i want to differentiate product of two functions 2x plus 3 into 5x plus 9 so how can we differentiate it this equal first you need to keep this one in the left side 2x plus 3 and differentiate the second one 5x plus 9 plus do the opposite one 5x plus 9 into derivative of 2x plus 3 this equal 2x plus 3 into derivative of 5x plus 9 which is 5 plus 0 so it will be only 5 plus 5x plus 9 into derivative of 2x plus 3 which is 2 so this equal 10x plus 15 plus 10x plus 18 which is equal 20x plus 33 but maybe you can think that why we know we are we need to use product rule instead we can just multiply two functions then differentiate by using the other formula 
the answer is yes you can do that so let me show you this if you multiply 2x plus 3 and 5x plus 9 then it will be 10x square 5x 2x 10x square plus 15x and 18x plus 27 this is the product of these functions now if you differentiate it the result will be what 10 into 2 which is 20x plus derivative of 15x which is 15 plus derivative of 18x which is 18 plus derivative of 27 which is 0 so this equal 20x plus 33 you see the result is same so you can either use product rule or if it is possible to multiply two functions you can also do that but sometimes it is not possible to multiply for example an exponential function or algebraic function you cannot multiply two of them in that case you must need to use product rule and the last formula is division rule if you have two functions in division form like u by v and you want to differentiate it then the result will be what the denominator here is v so in the v will be just a square you need to put the v square in the denominator and you need to start with v derivative of u minus note that in the product rule the sign was plus but in the division rule this sign will be minus and do the opposite one u k free rekhe v k derivative call derivative of v so niche tar square niche hobe ar v diye shuru korte hobe derivative of u minus u derivative of v for example, let us differentiate product of this function 2x plus 3 divided by 3x plus 1. Let us differentiate it. Then in the denominator you have 3x plus 1. So you just need to square 3x plus 1 and put it in the denominator. And you need to start by denominator 3x plus 1 into derivative of 2x plus 3 minus 2x plus 3 into derivative of 3x plus 1 which is equal 3x plus 1 whole square and 3x plus 1 into derivative of 2x plus 3 which is 2 minus 2x plus 3 into derivative of 3x plus 1 which is 3 is equal uh, 6x plus 2 minus 6x minus 9 divided by 3x plus 1 whole square you can cancel out 6x and 6x so the result will be minus 7 divided by 3x plus 1 whole square so this is how you can uh, differentiate division of two functions so let me uh, summarize the formula again uh, formula one use square to me x r they can power k derivative put the power both of power coefficient a car like power x comes away for example x to the power 5 5 x to the power 4 they're going to constant function and derivative 0 are x is the constant that get constant that take it away Addition of two function and subtraction of two function k to me a lot of derivative could the borrow are going function and power k derivative could lay both among show formula one and multi of a into in addition you need to differentiate the function again and product rule a both of me you can free like a vk derivative curva plus vk free like a uk derivative curva division rule a निचेट्टा स्क्वायर निचे होगे और निचेट्टा दिए शुरू करता होगा डी डेरिवेटिव ऑफ यू मास्कन माइनस होगे यू डेरिवेटिव ऑफ बी
so that's all in this video in uh, in my next video i will try to apply this formula in order to differentiate some other basic algebraic functions